Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be installing antivirus on a Linux system. I wanted to do this because a friend of mine asked me if he can protect his Linux systems and I told him yes. And I did some due diligence and I did some research and I did it in my lab and it came out pretty cool. And I also created a test virus file to see if it actually catches it. So we'll go through all those steps in this video. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. Let's get into it and have some fun. Alrighty then folks, so let's jump onto the desktop. I am using Linux Mint for this demo. So to make things easier and make things quicker, I did some preliminary work and I made sure everything was up to date. I installed the claim, uh, Clam AV. So we're gonna walk through all these steps. So why am I making this video? It was interesting because this week a friend of mine wanted to install Linux as his main base OS. So I was like, okay. And he goes, but how should I protect it? He's not in really cybersecurity. He's not into this world. He just wants to run Linux and he wants to feel more protected. I don't know. He wants to seem cool. I don't know. But I was like, hey man, you can run Ubuntu. You can run uh, Linux Mint. So we ended up going with Linux Mint. And that's why I want to demo on this. So if anyone else wants to run antivirus on your Linux system, you can go ahead and follow along. So how did I come to the conclusion of using Clam AV? So it was Tuesday night. I think it was Tuesday when I was talking to him. I don't remember. Today is Saturday morning. So I think it was Monday or Tuesday. He was like, hey, Pat, like, you know, Windows keeps crashing, blah, blah, blah. He, he has a maybe a three-year-old laptop and he's, he doesn't want to get a new laptop. He's not really into the whole technology world. But anyway, he wanted to run Linux. He's like, okay, I want to try to use a Linux distro. So I was like, hey, use Ubuntu or use uh, Linux Mint. or there's so many open source, right? Uh, free Linux distros for desktops. And we ended up going with Linux Mint because it's pretty light and it's pretty easy. So he's like, okay, how do I protect this? I was like, oh crap. Like I don't really, I never use Linux like that, right? Like I just use like Kali for my CTFs and doing some pen testing and stuff like that. But I never get into the hardcore of like using it as my daily driver. I use Windows to be honest. I was like, okay, let me do some research. So I came across Clam OS, uh, Clam AV. That is an open source antivirus engine that detects Trojans, viruses, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I wanna go ahead and install this in my lab, test this, just go on ChatGPT, say, hey, create me a, you know, a fake virus file just so it, it can get detected. And I did all this stuff and it worked pretty good. So I was like, okay, do this. His name is John. Hey, John, do this and go on with your merry way. And I, I thought it would be a pretty cool concept of a video to make because what if there's people out there that want to use Linux or just want to test maybe some malware that they're using? Yeah, you can use EDR and other antivirus or CrowdStrike or any other ones. But for your daily driver, for your consumer base, this one was pretty good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go through this process, installing it, updating it and uh, scanning a, a file and a directory and seeing if it's if it's infected and how do we remove it, right? So without further ado, let's get started, okay? So I did make it simple. I did all the commands that I used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. This one I'm not gonna do because I already did this already. So just follow these right here. So let's just obviously update your distro. Let's make sure we get back here. And I do have a file in here that we're gonna go ahead and test and I'll show you guys that shortly. Okay, so let's just go ahead and update and upgrade this bad boy really quick. It should be pretty quick because I already, you know, I do this every time I boot my machine up. So let's come back and you can do installing the Clam AV and the Clam AV daemon so you can have your real time protection. Okay, I already did this, but let's go ahead and copy this. I'll take a minute. You can take a screenshot of this or whatever you want. And let's go back into the command shell and do the same thing. All right, so it's already the newest, latest, and greatest is already there, all right? So now, now the moment of truth, right? It's pretty, pretty easy, right? So you can do sudo clam scan dash r for recursive. So then we're gonna do the directory that you wanna scan, right? So if I come back to my command shell and I do 
PWD. This is let me make, can I make this bigger? No, that's the biggest it's getting. Sorry guys. All right, so this is the this is the directory that we're gonna scan. So if I do an ls, we can see this file, right? Icar or whatever, however you say that that word. So let's go ahead and I just like I said, I just chat GPT it. So I did it really quick. I was like, hey, spit me out in you know a wannabe fake virus file, and here it is, right? So standard antivirus test file. This is you know strictly for testing. All right. So now what we're going to do is scan the system or scan that directory. So since I already made it simple, let's just go ahead and do a control C and let's come back over here. And now it's going to go on its merry way. It's about an eight meg file. So I don't know why it's so big, but whatever. And now this is going to go ahead and scan and see what's cracking. Right. And you can also run a scan on your your whole system, right? Slash the root. That's that'll take, you know, a lot of time. This is just for this demo and just showcasing this tool. Right. So here we have a scan summary. This is I thought was pretty cool. Scan directories one files, scan files, infected files. So it does have an infected file. Right. So we're going to go ahead and do this really quick. And I just came up with this right now. So let's go ahead and uh, do sudo nano, if I can spell nano. And I'm just gonna put pathfile.txt, okay? And I'm gonna put, thanks for watching this video, okay? And then do control F, blah, blah, blah. And now we should have that there. So now what we're gonna do is do the file and see if I can do Pat's file and see if we can run that and see if that is infected. It shouldn't be, right? Because I just made it and it's just a plain text file that I'm like, hey, you know, see what's cooking, see what's going on. So let's see if it uh, gives me any feedback on that file. Whoa, it's compiling. Let's let it do its thing and see what's going on. So it's okay. So there is no infected files in pat text obviously right we just created it. it's no no biggie okay so like i said i just did that right now so what if we want to remove the files that are in there so we can go ahead and let's just go ahead and copy that and let's go ahead and do an ls so let's go ahead and uh do this and what we want to remove is only the infected file right oh but you know what let's just do everything Right, let's just do everything. Let's go ahead and remove those infected files because we don't want infected things on our machine, right? So let's just give that a few moments. And once this scans and removes the files, we'll make sure that is done. After we verify, we'll do an LS and see, make sure it's good to go. We'll give this a few seconds and it's going ahead and remove them. Okay, cool deal. Now let's do an LS. There, see, it didn't remove the pat file because it wasn't infected right but it didn't remove the infected file as you can see the other one is not there all right so the last thing i want to showcase is you can actually see the uh you know if you want to go ahead and monitor real time let's go see if this works all right so now we can go ahead and start this and see um the status we can go ahead and look at status real quick And we can see everything is running, all is good, and we should be golden, right? So the claim antivirus, this is all good. So now that pretty much is it. Now you have an antivirus on your Linux system and you've seen how, you know, you can test malware. You can just go ahead and all I did was go to ChatGPT, create a malware or create a fake virus file that you can test against signatures. And I just copied that code, put it into that TXT file, and ran it against it. And you've seen that it was infected. But that's all for today. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you guys in the next one.